So, is the Yellowstone supervolcano about to blow? Well, the short answer is no, probably not. For the long answer, go ahead and stay tuned and watch the rest of this video. Right, so if you've been paying attention to any of the conspiracy video channels on YouTube or reading some of the news that's out there, you'll notice, I think it's even made Drudge Report, that uh, there are some indications that there's something called an earthquake swarm going on at Yellowstone National Park right now. Now listen, uh, some caveats up front. I I'm a geologist. That's what I got my PhD in. However, I haven't used that degree in quite some time to look at geology, and I was never a volcanologist. So although I do have some knowledge of general geology, it's not specific to volcanology. And so what I'm going to talk about here are basically my best guesses, which are science-based. Uh, but if you want to know more, you need to go talk to actual volcanologists. So with that caveat in mind, let's go ahead and push on. Over the last month, there's been about a thousand, almost a thousand earthquakes, uh, anywhere from like about half on the Richter scale to about four, four and change on the Richter scale, which is eh, not, not, not too shabby for Yellowstone. And they're all concentrated in two kind of parts of the, uh, of the Yellowstone kind of hotspot area. And I'll go ahead and put a map of it right here. And so what you see are some, some quakes that occur at or around 10 kilometers deep under the ground in this one area here. And then over on the, um, the eastern side, you see another cluster of earthquakes that happen at a much shallower uh, depth. Now, what is an earthquake swarm? Well, it's kind of one of these things where, you know, I know it when I see it, right? Um, it's kind of hard to define. There, there's no hard and fast definition of what an earthquake swarm is, but basically what it is is a lot of earthquakes associated with a volcano of some kind that take place over a relatively short time period. Now, when you've got close to a thousand occurring in a month at the Yellowstone caldera, then yeah, that's, that's an earthquake swarm. And what does it mean? What is an earthquake swarm? Well, basically what it is, as magma gets generated at depth in the crust because of the hot spot that's under, under Yellowstone, it, it's less dense than the surrounding rock and tends to rise and push its way up, right? And so as it pushes its way, its, its way up, rock, the surrounding rock cracks and breaks, and that's what you get in terms of seismicity. You get these readings on a seismometer that tell you that, hey, something's breaking and cracking down there, and it looks like it's associated with magma um, upwelling. Now, are earthquake swarms indicators that a volcano is about to erupt like, erupt like Yellowstone? Yes and no. Yes, earthquake swarms can precede an eruption because magma needs to get up close enough to the surface where pressure can be relieved and all of a sudden it explodes, kind of like shake up a can of soda and pop the top and you know what happens, right? Um, so the magma needs to get close enough to the surface where that can happen. However, earthquake swarms on their own are not indicators that a, that a volcano is about to erupt. You don't have to worry about Yellowstone because we're not seeing any of the other indicators that are consistent with an imminent eruption. If we were, you would be seeing... All, you know, all signs red, right? Everybody would be on volcano watch at Yellowstone because that is a real super volcano. I think a recent study in science or, or one of those magazines indicated that uh, there was enough magma in the chamber to fill up the Grand Canyon several times over. That's a lot of magma and that's going to be a lot of people dead. That's going to cause a lot of havoc throughout the U.S. and it's going to be a major event. There's no way that the USGS or the government's going to try and keep that secret. They're going to want to save as many lives as they can and they're going to let us know when they think there's a serious issue. Take, for example, the Italian supervolcano. I am not going to try and pronounce it, but I'll put the name right up here. <laughs> Campo di Fligri. Yeah, I lied. I'll try and pronounce it. Something like that. I, I can't speak Italian. But that is a different story. That's a supervolcano. It's much smaller than, than um, Yellowstone, so it's not nearly as troublesome. You will have to evacuate some of the surrounding areas. Naples is a major city, and it's right next door, and so you'll have to evacuate a lot of people, but you're not going to basically have a catastrophic end of Italy scenario like you would in the case of Yellowstone, which would mean the, the end of it least a third of the United States, if not more. Now, in the case of Italy, you have earthquake swarms, but you also have a no number of different indicators. I'm not going to go into the technical details, but you've got all these other indicators like uplift and degassing, critical degassing phase has been reached, I think, at, at the Italy volcano. So there are a number of different things that go along with earthquakes to kind of suggest to geologists there, hey, something's happening here. We're getting a, a lot closer to an eruption. We need to be on, uh, you know, condition red and watch this thing around the clock. That's Italy, totally different story. Yellowstone, we're not even close to that yet. Yes, it's interesting. Yes, it's cool. Yes, earthquake swarms are one indicator. Yes, it makes for a good conspiracy video. Uh, no, you're not going to get that here. If you're worried at all about Yellowstone erupting right now, I would not be. Um, that, that said, I would not live anywhere near that place because eventually someday it is going to erupt. But these, these swarms right now are not necessarily associated with that. Now that could change at any minute. We could start seeing major uplift and, um, you know, chemical indicators, all sorts of things that would suggest an, an eruption of Yellowstone is imminent. But right now we don't have that kind of data. I'm not worried. I don't think you should be either.
End transmission. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. Look, now that YouTube is censoring everybody, we all need to work together. So please, click the thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my channel, and do one small thing for me. Share this on social media. Share it on Twitter, Facebook, I don't care which. Everything, every social media thing you're subscribed to, however little you're willing to do, however much. Also consider buying my books. I'm an award-winning author, and you get what you pay for. You'll at least have some enjoyment out of them. I'm not asking for charity. Take a look at my books. All the links are below. Thanks for watching.